Russia contributes to World Food Program, or WFP's efforts to support Kenyans harmed by drought. The government of Russia has sent 1 million US dollars worth of fortified vegetable oil to assist the WFP in supplying food packages that also contain cereals and pulses to drought-affected Kenyans, as well as nutritious flour for malnourished mothers, and a nutritional supplement for those younger than five, the lack of rain in the last two years has caused an increasing number of people to be at risk of running out of crop stockpiles before the following year's harvests. This situation has created around 2.5 million individuals in need of food assistance. Russia has previously supported the WFP's work in East Africa through donations of trucks in 2014 and 2019. Russia is a laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, a Shining World Generosity Leadership Award, and a Shining World Leadership Award for Wildlife Protection. Many thanks, Russia and World Food Program, for your kind assistance to our Kenyan sisters and brothers. In God's grace, may humanity's swift change to a gentle plant-based lifestyle bring immediate and sustained improvements for all. Learning poverty from COVID-19 measures has drastically affected education globally. A joint report published by the World Bank and two United Nations agencies warns that school closures amid the COVID-19 pandemic have affected over 1.6 billion students worldwide, and this group collectively risk losing approximately 17 trillion U.S. dollars in lifetime earnings. Significantly, children living in what is now termed learning poverty, the inability to read simple text by age 10, could reach 70% in low- and middle-income nations, while most vulnerable youth of lower socioeconomic status in some countries have suffered even greater learning losses. To halt and reverse this trend, the paper emphasizes that reopening schools to get children's education back on track must be a top and urgent priority. Our appreciation for the important report World Bank and United Nations agencies involved may all countries take steps to recover learning for our younger generation as we beckon a pandemic-free world in heaven's upliftment. Engineers in the United States model bird people's feet to enhance drones. Stanford University engineers recently created robotic bird people like feet that can be attached to small quadcopter drones enabling them to catch and carry objects and successfully land on trees and varying terrains. Extensive iterations were required to perfect the stereotyped nature-inspired aerial grasper or snag. The design was ultimately modeled on the peregrine falcon people's legs and will allow search and rescue drones to save battery power while on missions by perching or resting in different locations as opposed to hovering in the air. The new technology could assist environmentalists in collecting data more easily in forests, among other possible usages. What an amazing feat engineers from Stanford University to learn from our beautiful bird people friends and thus improve technology in the loving guidance of the providence. May we continue to evolve in a positive manner with respectful inspiration from the natural world around us. For schools in the United Kingdom gaining popularity, since the COVID-19 pandemic began, there has been increased enrollment in forest schools, which give children the opportunity to learn to use clay, make campfires, identify insects, and play in nature as part of their developmental journey. The gatherings are held after regular school hours and include a trained for a school teacher. The nature-promoting concept that originated in Scandinavia is gaining popularity due to the sedentary lifestyles of the current generation of children, where communication and education is mostly indoors and via technology. Parents have noted the joy and overall improvement in mental health of the youth participating. Such a breath of fresh air, United Kingdom, on the growing trend to bring children back to the pure essence of Mother Nature. 
In celestial care, may four schools soon become a part of normal education in all nations as we seek balance with the planet and our souls. Farmer in India shares his land with dear people. A Guru Sami, a 70-year-old farmer of Gotapalayam in Tamil Nadu, welcomed three dear people when he saw them grazing on his ancestral land in 1998 and has since designated 50 acres or 20 hectares comprising most of the land for their growing numbers to roam. To make sure they have access to sufficient water, Mr. Gurusami created some ponds and over the years has received support from the local forest department, various non-governmental organizations and environmentalists. Currently, there are about 1,800 dear people living on the land and forest guards patrol the area to prevent poaching while plans to relocate the herbivorous friends to a safer environment are also being considered. May God bless you, Mr. A. Gurusami, for your loving care of the elegant people of the dear kingdom. In divine glory, may the lives of all animal people be honored and respected. No to vegan, only people who want to protect themselves and their loved ones choose it. Large media organization holds climate conference with fully vegan menu. United States headquartered TED, which stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design, held an in-person climate conference called the Countdown Summit in Edinburgh, Scotland, UK. The event featured a fully plant-based menu and had 1,000 participants, including indigenous leaders, scientists, politicians, entrepreneurs, youth activists, artists, and more, who gathered to discuss how to restore and protect the planet. A blueprint for an attainable path to net zero emissions was also presented. Elizabeth Novogratz, Executive Director of Animal People Rights Nonprofit Species Unite, commended TED for the vegan menu, saying, This sends a clear message to the world that they are serious about tackling animal agriculture's catastrophic impact on our planet. Way to go, Ted, for serving vegan food, the only sure way to solve our current planetary crisis. In the mercy of heaven, may your wise example have profound effects on society and help to usher in a plant-based era of climate stability. Hungarian parliament unanimously approves new animal people welfare laws, the compassionate legislation, which was drafted with help of local animal people advocacy organizations, incorporates a prison sentence of one to five years for cruelty to animal people, including the acts of poisoning and baiting. The punishment will apply even if the bait is prepared with the intention to harm without actually being placed. The scope of what constitutes cruelty has also been expanded. It is a crime to illegally breed people from the animal kingdom, and there is a two-year sentence for organizing animal people fighting contests. Our appreciation, Hungarian Parliament, for your caring laws to ensure our animal people friends will be protected and safe within your peaceful and abundant nation. In the blessings of the cosmos, may your actions also help to raise awareness of the importance of kindness as we safeguard all beings with our loving deeds and thoughts.